what are we going to do here? I have a few clips, um, and, and it's faster for me to react to the clips. I'm just go straight into it. Let's see. There seems to be a lot of celebration and rejoice over his passing. And let me say this really clear to all of you people as well. The detractors. Even in death, Kevin remains undefeated. Why? Because you're proving his point. We have those in this community that are, are so sick, so toxic, so delusional, and so destroyed that you choose to celebrate a man's death, a man's passing, as if he was a war criminal, as if he was a pedophile, as if he murdered people, or as if he even wished death on other people people you should be absolutely disgusted with yourself and ashamed of there seems to be a lot of celebration and rejoice yeah, uh, it's gonna I play over and over excuse me this that's the thing with these clips um that was uh mediocre reviews and tutorials he was close to kevin samuels and in fact yeah, um, you could see the passion in it if you didn't see the passion in his eyes um, uh, about the situation. And it wasn't just that he was close, it's that he understood his intentions. Now, at the end of the day, with all this going on, I myself had to step back from, just had to step back from Kevin Samuels for a while because he was passing uh, and different stuff. But now that all the stuff has been said and done, he is no longer at the end of the day a man since his passing. He's a martyr. And the black men didn't make him a martyr. The black women and detractors made him a martyr. By celebrating his death and proving him right at the end of the day, they did that. They made him like this. Uh, MTR, he does excellent reviews. He gives his point of view and he comes from a stable household. It, he has a stepfather, but he comes from a stable household, so it doesn't matter. But he understands certain things, and with him, cancer at the end of the day, he understood close to Kevin Samuels more than a lot of people within his sphere. Now, he left the manosphere probably for some of the same reasons that a lot of people are, but at the end of the day, uh, he understood where Kevin Samuels was coming from, what he was talking about, and at the end of the day, with all these people detracting and talking about, about Kevin Samuels, they weren't able to disprove any of his information. Because since he blew up since 2019, uh, all of his detractors had all the time in the world to set up a, a crossfire, uh, go on his smoke shows, do something. Do something to disprove his information, but they weren't able to. So they attacked his life. And uh, with the women now attacking Dr. Martin Luther King at the end of the day, uh, like B. Simone and all them, with them attacking just any male leadership that is a black male, at the end of the day, they make themselves look bad. And the reason why they make themselves look bad is because there are plenty of white men who cheat on their wives and are great men. And that's one of the differences between good men and great men. Women will complain as long as it is a man. However, what separates good men and great men are the feats and accomplishments they make. The women who oftentimes complain about these types of men and different things oftentimes just don't like uh, that they lose. Because at the end of the day, Albert Einstein cheated multiple times. Uh, Benjamin Franklin cheated multiple times. There are so many people who cheated and even cheat now that it, when uh for them to attack a man on his personal life for things like this that aren't criminal related uh, oftentimes show how weak they are but they the main thing was they were not able to disprove anything like kevin samuel said instead they use what happens in his life to attack him okay but here's the problem there's so much wrong things that go on in black women's lives that at the end of the day, they have no room to speak or to detract on. Simply by controlling the market and controlling how sex functions does not mean that you're right. You just control a resource. 
So it's weird for them to do this. And of course I say black women, but I don't mean all black women. I'm talking about obviously the ones who like this destructive behavior, who like all this um, never having to explain, never having to be clear, but always trying to find some workaround to make men submissive, even though we've already proven that it doesn't make the community stronger. So at the end of the day, they're anti-community. Again, you can just see the water in his eyes and it's not making fun of him or nothing, but this really affected him. He's even blinking a lot more.